now that I have captured your attention, I want to steal you for a rhythm intervention. Mr. T, you see I'm ready for inspection. Sh -sh Show me how you make a first impression. Can we take it nice and slow, slow? Break it down and drop it low, low. Cause I just wanna buddy all night in the neon lights. Do you get let me go? Hey guys and girls, it's Chris from ChrisWatsonMusic.com. Just thought I'd do a quick, maybe 10 minute run through on how I put together the cover that I did of uh, a song by Selena Gomez called Slow Down. Um, something new that I'm, I'm starting to do. Uh, I used to play in a cover band back in the day in my you know, stupid youth and one of the things we used to do really well was to take pop songs and really rock them up in sort of like a, a five piece sort of format and we were pretty good at it so you know got a bit bored thought I might start doing it again so the first one that I did was uh, as I said Slow Down by Selena Gomez and again all recorded in Reason which is my DAW of choice I, I thought it would be a fairly simple song to do uh, but the further I got into it as you can see the more and more complex it got so yeah, like I said, I'm going to spend about 10 minutes running through how I put it together, not going to the super nitty gritty, um, but just kind of give you the idea how I have pieced this cover together and came up with the parts and everything that I, I came up with. So, first up, uh, as you can see here in the rack, we've got quite a bit here. Now, however, you, whatever door that you're using, it's good to try and stay organized, uh, not even so much just on you know your arrange window. Uh, you can see I've got everything color coded and grouped together so the guitars are together um, all the vocals are together etc I usually keep the drums and the bass together but you know just keep everything organized so you know where you are and it's really easy for you to find what you're looking for when you're working on the track um, with with reason you have the the rack view as well and I tend to organize everything a lot of people don't realize that you can you know have multiple racks as you can see here I've got one two three four five six six different racks um, I've got my master section here uh, here is where I've got the drums so I've got everything expanded out here drum kits actually quite large um, go over the next section I've got the bass okay then we have the wall of guitars uh, as you can see I'm using the new vermilion guitar amplifier um, amp sim that's available now for reason and I gotta say it's awesome um, but also it's using some of the line 6 stuff and a couple of things direct, recorded directly through pod farm and then we go over to the vocal rack lots of vocal racks there um, quite a quite a fair bit of use of Neptune there as it is a bit of a tricky song trickier song to sing than you'd actually think uh, lots of backing vocals you can see it all color coded again so you know, one lot of the backing vocals there there's another lot that's been done slightly different um, and then over into my master I call it my my mix master sec section or sort of my sub mix section and I'll explain how I do that in a, in a little bit but if we go back across over the track um, basically we'll go into the arrange window and I'd, I'd like to play you the original song so you can see how I put everything on over the top of it but obviously there's some copyright dramas with that and if I play too much of the original audio I've then got you know they have to get paid um, which you know it's fair enough but I'd, I'd rather avoid that as it is so let's just go through and I'm just going to move one of these windows so that I can uh, do some stuff off screen and then I'll show you that one in a second so basically first thing that I came up with in this is the drum track now the drums are another reason um, refill it's the Ryan Green alt drums and I'm using the pork pie kit so let's just uh, solo out those drums and have a listen to what they sound like uh, let's start about there So if you're familiar with the original song, it basically starts off nice and simple with a kick drum, um, building in the, the backbeat to get started. But as I progressed through, I decided to start messing with that rhythm a bit. So 
So I thought that made a nice, you know, sort of dancey beat in a, a sort of rock sense. It's about as much dancey as you're going to get in a rock song. Um, until we actually get into the chorus where the, the main beat that I'm playing changes again. Again, that kick is actually pretty much based off what's in the original version of the song anyway. And then I wanted it to really take off after the chorus, so lots of double kicks, China cymbals. But one of the things I wanted to do is keep having the song progress while I was doing it, so not kind of go back to the same thing every now and again. So when it gets into the second verse, we go back to the sort of dancey beat rather than the straight you know, kick driving everything. And then we do some uh, big fills towards the end. Okay, more double kick there. Um, and then obviously there's the breakdown section which we go back to the you know, very similar to the intro. You get the idea. Um, and then you got the second half of the breakdown section. Sort of do like a snare roll going over the top of it here. Um, adding in some extra dynamics as well as we come into the uh, big final chorus. And then for the final chorus, I've actually used the drum beat from the verse. Again, just to make it that little bit different again. So that was pretty much how you know the bass of the song started, was with the drums. And then it was pretty much coming up with a bass line to go over the top of it. So I've got a couple of tracks of bass here. We've got a processed bass sound um, that was processed via Podfarm, the Pure DI which I've then gone through and, and put some uh, pretty dramatic EQ on it just to bring out the real low end because you know it's a dance song so it needs that sort of those sort of sub frequencies in there and that little boost there um, and then there's a, a fuzzy bass that comes in during uh, the breakdown and used well we used in both breakdowns so and the extra bass is just this weird thing full of effects so the bass was pretty simple, locking in with the, the kick drum, and you'll hear that uh, when I go through and I'll solo it out for you. Oops, I accidentally hit record. Let's try that again. And again, it locks in with the drums in the, um, in the chorus. And just so you can get a, a sort of a clearer ear on the uh, the weird sounding stuff, I'll just solve out those drums again, mute out those drums again so you can just hear the bass. And let's loop that for a bit. So this is basically just a straight DI track, but then I've gone crazy with it. And I've put it through my new uh, new favorite effect that's included now, you know, you can get for reasons, it's called the Alligator, which is basically a series of filters um, running off an oscillator. Lots of different patterns, tweaked it around with it for a bit, stuck it through a screen to add the extra distortion to the bass, um, and then EQ'd the bad frequencies out of it. It did come up with some pretty awful frequencies, so if we bypass that for a second. You can hear there's a couple of weird resonance frequencies in there, so just pulled those out just to soften up the sound a little bit. So that's pretty much what was happening there with the bass. Uh, let's go down now, have a quick look through the guitars. So the guitars tend to build during the track. So it just starts off with uh, 
one guitar track and you see I've got bits where I've, I've muted out certain tracks so to change the dynamics in one part I'll have two guitars playing in another part I'll pull the guitar out um, just to kind of thin out the sound in certain sections particularly in the intro so the guitar part that I came up with which is a pretty chuggy sort of chord sound um, I pulled out the Les Paul that I recorded um, for the intro because it just made it too thick um, and so I'll give you a listen to that and I actually added an extra higher riff on top of that as well so have a listen to that just felt like it needed that high register there and that gets used again a bit later on in the track too so if you have listened to two of those together and then once we actually get into the to the uh, main body of the verse you'll see that the uh, the Les Paul comes back in and the sound actually widens up so let's just go from the, the bar beforehand or two bars beforehand and you'll hear how it I widen out that sound when the next guitar comes back in. There's a bit of, um, you know, this is using the new Vermilion amp sim that we've got from Reason and, well, from one of the direct developers, Kuasa, I think it was. I've probably got that wrong. I apologize. Um, but you can see it's actually quite big. I'm using two different tones for the guitars. Um, you'll see here that they're panned down the middle and then for each of the amps but then when I actually get into the track of their pan hard left and hard right that gives it that much wider guitar sound as I've talked about in some of my other videos previously um, I've also taken the raw signal and doubled it up using a, a parallel channel so the parallel channel which was just be the guitar tone by itself um, let's just solo with that we bypass the effects. Obviously, it's, that doesn't work. So, I really like the plexi amp that you get with the Line 6. So it's, uh, but I wanted a little bit of extra distortion on it. So, we've got the Scream 4 in after it as well. So, let's have a listen to it. And I've done the same here with the uh, the Les Paul as well. So here's the original Les Paul track there. I really like that. That sounds really nice. So let's have, let's have a quick look on the mixer here too. You'll see that on the guitars, we've got our Les Paul. Um, these are coming up, showing that they're in, in the center, but that's because if we go back to the rack, you'll see I've actually panned them in here. I know, I just, there's something very odd I found with the sort of the micro mix and the, um, the other mixer that you get in Reason as well. And the actual console, the SSL mixer, I find that on the console, it, I, 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 this could just be my perception, but I don't think the panning on the console actually can go as wide as it actually can. Um, if I pan an individual instrument, like, you know, in the mixer here, like I have here, and then pan it with the console, 
it can go really wide but I find that these seem to pan a little bit wider than the SSL and that kind of works so this is meant to be a, a dual amp stereo rig where one of these like this one would be on the left channel this would be pushed over to the right I've just whacked them both over onto the left in this case and then have augmented that with the other Les Paul sound to stick it onto the right so let's just have another quick listen to that again So you can hear that's well and truly in the right and there's the extra left channel added back in so you can see here I've also got some automation here um, where I have the guitars coming in and out for different parts where I wanted to thin out the sound when there's more vocal and then bring in the extra guitar when it gets gets much heavier there's an extra guitar that's been added in on the chorus as well and it only comes in the chorus again it's just designed to give it you know a bit more oomph um, again you'll see these are panned hard left and, and hard right as I tend to do try it I, these days I, I tend to be pretty extra I have three probably three um, panning positions hard left hard right down the middle I think you kind of lose the clarity on the individual instruments when you start going at uh, those areas in between uh, let's have a listen to this extra guitar that I stick stuck in. It's again, it's just the chords again that I was using, um, and it's really just there to, you know, sort of add that extra punch into the chorus. So there we go, it's the Vermilion again. A much simpler setup this time around. Um, you can see I'm using different different cabs for each one, using the red Tolex in both, but using a separate blonde vintage on, on one, the iron grill on the other. Mixing up the uh, the mics as well, so on the red Tolex here I got the, the should be an SM57. Um, and a ribbon on this and together they sound really good so let's just have a listen one at a time So let's just give you an idea about the layering it. Let's take those and we'll actually mute those uh, out of the chorus so you can hear what it sounds like and hear how much sort of extra presence they add to it without adding so much extra volume. It's not so much there to add volume, but just add some extra frequencies back in to help the guitars cut through as it gets really busy in that section of the song. Um, and then after that, we basically, we have the vocals. I thought it'd be nice and easy, uh, to be honest, but no, we ended up getting uh, getting quite complex. So let's just uh, go through and solo out all the vocals. And we'll go back to him. Yeah, baby, slow down the song. Yeah, baby, slow down the song. So when I was coming up, I started doing it. I, I couldn't work out what key I was going to do this in, and I tried a couple of different ones. Um, eventually, I worked out if I had the key lower and tried to sing it higher didn't really have any strength to it if I put it back up higher and tried to sing it lower it just felt lifeless so I kind of found somewhere in the middle 
and I did a dual lead vocal where I've doubled the vocal an octave lower. So let's go back to where I start singing. Somewhere. Here we go. Now that I have captured your attention, I want to steal you for a rhythm intervention. Mr. TC, I'm ready for inspection. Sh -sh Show me how you make a first impression. Can we take it nice and slow, slow? Break it down and drop it low, low. Cause I just want to party all night in the neon lights so you can let me go. Okay, and then I, you know, it sounds pretty good like that with the two two octaves. Let's just go to the second verse, for instance. Testing applications, so long as we can keep this record on rotation. But I wanted the, the vocals to sound bigger, not wider. Um, and this is where the Haas effect comes in really well. I didn't want to go through and have it really obvious, so I didn't actually go through and record them again, do extra double takes on them, which is what I would normally do. Um, what I've, I actually went through this time is I've just cut and pasted the track and I've nudged them. So the starting position you'll see on these tracks is just a slight bit different. So there's the, the original. That one's just gone back a bit. That one goes forward a bit. And when you put all of those together, if we just bring them up in the mixer so you can see, there's the lead vocal, and then the first one's again hard left, hard right. Because you're not hearing them at exactly the same time, it tends to really widen out the sound. Now that I have captured your attention, I want to steal you for a rhythm intervention. Mr. TC, I'm ready for inspection. Sh -sh Show me how you make a first impression. Slow, slow, break it down and drop it low, low. Cause I just want a buddy all night in the neon lights till you can let me go. And I essentially did the same thing on the lower octave so then and again in the chorus and so I've done the same thing okay and I just want to feel your body right next to mine all night long baby slow down the song and when it's coming closer to the end hit rewind all night long baby slow down the song and because the uh the other the the, so the, the Haas channels so to speak the ones that are hard left to hard right are a, a mixed choir in the much lower in the mix. I've only used a de-esser on the main center channel. Um, kind of just leaves a, some frequency differences between the tracks and that also enhances that whole idea of the sound you know being much wider and different it kind of fills your ears a little bit. Um, I guess the only other thing there is we've got the uh, backing vocals nothing really special there. Lots of stuff just um, the o O's of the song and I've just doubled them just to thicken them out. And oh, oh, can we take it nice and slow, slow, oh. Oh, 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 Yeah, baby, slow down the song. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. And also the uh, little bit in the breakdown. Oh, the music's got me going. Breathe me in, breathe me out. We'll stop until the morning. And I guess the only other thing is the the main hook in the chorus is that is that vocal part doing the oh oh oh. So I wanted to um, sort of double that with another instrument. And of course, being a, a musician, or as in a, a rock musician, a guitarist, I thought guitars would be the best thing to go through and do. So let's just do those by themselves to begin with. We'll mute these out. And I'll just play you the lead guitar part. 
and it, it's basically that melody um, and as I go through you know I double it up originally then I add an extra harmony line to it and then I add another harmony line to it so to kind of give you the idea it sounds a bit like this So as you can see, oh, I missed. There we go. Um, got the four parts here. I've even arranged them in here so I know left to right which one's which as well. I've got the lead one, lead two, so they're left and right. And then the extra harmony lines come in and they're all panned hard left and hard right as well. So let's have a listen to that again and let's just add the background vocals over the top of it as well so you can see how they, they work together. And there's one extra guitar part that gets put in during the breakdown, which is this part here. And again, it's just one part that I've copied to another track, and then I've slightly moved the starting position for each one. And once again, you know, surprise, surprise. Let's go to them, extra guitars. And you'll see panned hard left, hard right. Who'd have thunk it? So let's have a listen to all the, that these ones are doing. Now, I have to admit, that's me having been listening to a lot of Stone Sour. That's where that comes from. Um, and again, it comes in on the, the outro part of the song as well. And then the last thing I'll... Just have a quick look through now this is something sort of specific to reason but i think this is a good way to do it it can be done in any daw it definitely i think i find it makes my mixing a lot easier if we have a look at this we have a lot of tracks okay but basically you know all your different bass tracks you're going to mix sort of how they work relative to themselves same with the guitars same with the lead guitars you're going to be mixing the vocals for how well they all work together so it's a great idea to group your tracks now this used to be quite difficult in the older versions of reason reason seven you can route now all your tracks to another channel it's very easily you know your new output bus so you can see where i've got everything color coded my drum kit, my bass, guitars, lead guitars, vocals, you know, backing vo first vocals, chorus vocals, backing vocals. You'll see the same colors over here. So this is where I route all of them. So all my drums come through to here, all my bass channels come to here, my guitars come to here, lead guitar here, uh, the first vocals here, the chorus vocals here, and the background vocals. And this at the end of the day once I've gotten all the individual parts sort of gelled together for each section then I'm down to having one two three four five six seven channels the seven tracks that I need to worry about in the mix um, if I need to drop the guitars down in a certain part as you can see here I've got some automation I can do them all in one go if I need to you know change some of the vocals dynamics I've got it automated here as well and it does all of them same as the background vocals the same as anything that I wanted to do there it makes it a lot easier um, means you can apply some 
Um, EQ over everything. Uh, I like to stick a high pass filter on all my guitars. I do it on the individual tracks and then I do it again when I get down to the mix. There's just so much crap down in the low end that you want to go through and get rid of. Um, and I can do it to, to pretty much everything. I'd, let's leave that so you, know, you can see some weird EQs that instead of having to do that on every single channel um, I can put that through all of them all in one go if that's what I want to do if I want to do it individually I can just do it on the individual channels so that's pretty much how I put the song together and kind of an idea on how my, my workflow sort of works as far as coming up with one of these covers um, I said I was only wanted to go on for about 10 minutes and we're now at 31 minutes plus oh well I prattled on a bit I tend to do that um, if you have any specific questions on this video and the contents of the hints and you've, you you want to know some more about something specific stick in uh, a question down in the comments and I will get back to you on that as soon as I can uh, if I get a whole bunch of really good questions I'll probably do a follow-up video and try and show you the answers rather than go through and just put them in the comments because I think showing you you can learn a whole bunch more um, I hope you enjoyed and again please give me your questions uh, oh and before I go I want to know what song you'd like to see me do next so think of a pop song um, a song that's been popular and something you think needs that rock treatment I've already got an idea what the next song is that I'm going to do but I'd like to see your see what your, all your guys suggestions are and you know, you, you might change my mind. Anyway, take it easy. See ya. You know I'm good with mouth to mouth resuscitation. But breathe me in, breathe me out, so amazing. Can we take it nice and slow, slow? Break it down and drop it low, low. Cause I just wanna party all night in the neon lights till you can let me go. Just wanna feel your body right next to mine All night long, baby, slow down the song And when it's coming closer to the end, hit rewind All night long, baby, slow down the song Yeah, baby, slow down the song Yeah, baby, slow down the song yeah, baby, She's got me going. Breathe me in, breathe me out. No stop until the morning. Breathe me in, breathe me out. You know I'm ready for.